is something else. It's hard to believe such a place could exist. There's nothing like it in Cali, or anywhere for that matter. From time to time, I see some guys writing letters to their families. I wonder what they're saying. I wonder how they put it. I suspect they downplay the full scope of the danger we face, because the truth would be too much for a loved one to handle. People watch the news, so they know the insurgent attacks are still happening. But they don't know how much the insurgents' efforts have increased, or how desperate for blood they've become. You have to be here to experience that. People also don't know about the Chinese. We're not supposed to talk about it. Officially, we're on the same political page with China. But it's different than what the TV tells you. Something isn't right. Feels like a Wild West showdown brewing. Except instead of a pair of cold revolvers, we're dealing with 50 cals, tanks, and choppers. And unlike the old gunslinger duels, this won't be over in a few seconds. Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better. It all makes a man think. A few times, I even sat down to write a letter of my own. The problem was, I didn't know who I should write to. I broke up with my girl to join the Corps. Some of my friends don't really understand why I enlisted. But after 9-11, they didn't see what I saw. They didn't feel how I felt. It wasn't a choice as much as a calling. I could have had a comfortable life. I could have closed my eyes to the world around me. I could have been content with learning about Tajikistan from internet articles and TV pundits. But that's not who I am. Because I followed my heart, the sons and daughters of the Marines I helped save still have a father instead of a few fuzzy memories. Their wives still have a husband and not a box of personal effects and a folded flag. If they want to give me a medal for doing my job, so be it. But I am no hero. I'm no saint either. More than anything else in my life, I am a Marine.